goal should be. And Chris, uh, what do you have to say today about how things are going? Yes, Dr. Paul, we saw uh, ex-New York Fed Chief William Dudley uh, some quotes in Zero Hedge, and I was going to read what he said. He said that no central bank wants to admit that it's out of firepower. Unfortunately, the U.S. Federal Reserve is very near that point. This means America's future prosperity depends more than ever on government spending plans, something the president and Congress must recognize. Now, first of all, the Fed's firepower, so-called, is price fixing and counterfeiting. These are not good things. These are what cause the booms and busts that we're constantly going through and the, uh, you know, the enriching of the 1%, the basing of our money, price increases, that's their firepower is to do that. And second, prosperity does not depend on government spending. It's the exact opposite. Prosperity is wiped out by government spending. Prosperity is when you can work, you earn money and you save it or invest it or spend it based on what you want to do with your money not send it off to Washington so that they could fight endless wars, uh, bail out Wall Street or, and uh, crony corporations and, and countless other schemes. So he has it absolutely backwards. And it's a good day if it ever comes or when it ever comes when the Fed finally does run out of firepower. I guess the most credit, credit we can give Dudley is the fact that they're running out of fire, firepower. <laughs> you know, they really are. They never had that much because all they had was uh, explosives that blew up the economy. But yes, they're running out of the uh, effort to tinker with the economy.